Okay, so today we're making custom uniforms, but I need to go through some uh, rules before we do. First of all, you must own the original version of every uniform you use. You can't use the customs you uploaded for other people. It can only be recolors, it can't be neon. The uniform has to be approved before you can use it, and you can only have two customs at a time. Okay, now that's out of the way, let's get going. Oh, uh, I hate to break the uh, fun, but you're gonna need Photoshop for this tutorial. So, if you don't have it, then bad luck. Okay, so step number one is actually getting the uh, template in the first place, so let's get going into that. So like I said, you're going to need the original uniform, whatever you're doing, so make sure to pick out a uniform you already have. So for today, I'm just going to go with uh, this one. So you're going to need the template of this. And it's actually kind of difficult, so we're going to get with this. So you're going to want to open Roblox Studio, which I know sounds a little strange. But trust me with this. Okay, so just start a uh, random base plate, doesn't matter. And you're going to want to download the plugin uh, by Already Pro, which is a uh, low character plugin. I will leave a uh, link in the description to um, that. So once you have it, you uh, click low character and you bring in your own character right here. So uh, just spawn it as an R15. All right, so uh, here I am. So now what you want to do is go up to the right here where you have your name and click this little arrow next to it. And then you'll see shirt. Go down to shirt and here's the shirt template this is the shirt you're wearing so what you want to do is going back to this menu you want to go to this number and you want to copy the number going back to roblox studio you just want to click on this and paste in the number hit enter and there you go i am now wearing that shirt but as you can see it's now showing the asset not the not the uh, shirt on the catalog so what you're going to, want to do is copy this number just the number that's all you need and then head back to roblox Delete everything up to catalog. So delete all this. And then copy and paste your number and hit enter. And there you go. There's the uh, the template. So so that's it. So now all you need to do after that is hit save image as. Okay, there we go. Now that's done. Save it wherever you want to go. And this is where Photoshop comes into play. Okay, I'm here in Photoshop now. Uh, you may notice I have changed to another template. It doesn't matter, you use whatever template you used. It's just what I'm using, because it's easiest to do. So if you're not if you're not too sure how Photoshop works, I'd look up a few tutorials and that, because it's kind of tricky. So uh, you just want to zoom in to uh, just go to the middle for now. Um, you want to go up here to the magic wand tool. It might appear as this. Or if you just hold down on the uh, button, it'll come up with these. You just use any of them. Hit magic wand. Go down, select your layer, and now you can use it. Now you may notice it's not quite the way you'd want it to be. Well, if you go up here and change the tolerance, I've got it down to 60. Hit it if you hit 40. Look, if I hit 90, it's too much. So I, I'm recommending 60 because that's what works for me. Now, if you want to um, select multiple things, you just want to. Hold shift, and you can select more, like the uh, bottom here, for example. Now, at this point, you may just need to tweak it until you get it right. So There's probably going to be a little bit of trial and error here, but eventually, you are going to manage to select it all. Okay, I've now roughly got everything selected I need. So, the next thing you want to do is go to adjustments here and hit this here, hue, start saturation. And now, here's your uh, controls. So. Whatever you do, don't hit colorize. You don't need to do that. Just go to the hue. Change the hue. I uh, I missed a spot right there. But oh, and and up there. That's not what matters. You guys will do that. So yeah, you can change the colors, change the saturation down. I can make it like my old, my custom. But don't make it neon. You know? don't don't do this. And then go like really obnoxious colors. Just keep it low. You know, like that. That's probably about right. Uh, I also accidentally selected this little yellow thing here. See? So, you know, you know, you're not going to want to do that. You're going to want to select all the areas. So it might take a while to um, get everything perfect. It might be a few restarts and that. But eventually, you're going to get it right. And that's basically all there is to it. You know, it's, it's a little difficult, a bit tricky. But you'll get the hang of it, you know? So, thank you for watching. Merry Christmas. Speak to you guys later.